Go way back, I don't care. It don't matter. Well, we've all seen the recent news from Morning Chalk Up, so I'm going to be giving you Jacob's thoughts concerning the rumors going around about CrossFit Games Regionals and CrossFit Games Open. I'm going to caveat everything I talk about by saying that I'm only talking about my opinion of it given the assumption, given the facts I know. And really, honestly, the question you might remain is, the news we heard, what portion of that is fact? So, my opinion is based upon anything I've read on Morning Shaka, or Flow Release, or anything else, and that may be true, it may be not true. If it's not true, you can throw my opinions out for all I care. Good morning, Chuck. Up again. You guys have all pretty much read it. I'll put the link below so you guys can find it if you need to read up on it. But so I don't have to reiterate everything that's already been said before and waste my breath. CrossFit is a business. They're trying to save money because they've been hemorrhaging money, I think, here and there, like Dawson has already said. And so I don't blame them for trying to make some cutbacks in order to save money. A business is a business. CrossFit's a business. They have to pay people. They have to make money. I agree with Glassman's quote that they be spending two million dollars and only getting one male, one female, one team qualified in Latin America probably wasn't a good decision. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. So let's talk about this decision and what they're thinking of going through with. I think one main fact that you can't argue is they're definitely getting rid of regionals. Now, let's talk about the other decisions that were in that article. First of all, getting rid of regionals, so we've got to find some way to get games athletes games to qualify them somehow. So, my understanding is there's two ways to get to the games. One, you go through the World Wide Open and you are the fittest in your country and your country has an affiliate in it, you will be given an automatic invite to the 2019 CrossFit Games. But here's something that not a lot of people have talked about when we're talking about these new changes, is the fact that I don't think there's going to be an off-season at all. And let me explain to you why. Let's skip ahead and not talk about the 2019 season. It's a transitional season, and I'm not really sure how it's going to work out personally. But the 2020 season, if what we read is true, and if what we read is factional, has kind of been laid out for us. The Open's in October, and then November all the way till June is this CrossFit sanctioned event period, where we're going to have 16 sanctioned events to go win and essentially qualify to the CrossFit Games. Let's just say you're getting ready for the Open. So starting in like middle of August or early September, you start ramping up and preparing your volume for the fact that you're gonna go ham for the Open because you wanna, you wanna win your country. That's the goal. Now, you do the Open and essentially, as soon as the Open's done, because the Open's about five weeks, you're right into November, which then starts the CrossFit sanctioned event period. So you've got all these CrossFit sanctioned events. Let's talk about those, because I think those are going to be a huge wrench into every one season. If these CrossFit sanctioned events are anything like the events we already have, Dubai, Granite Games, Wadapalooza, then these events are going to have qualifiers. The purpose of qualifiers is great. Essentially, all they're doing is making sure that they're vetting the people that show up to make sure they're fit enough and they're fit like they claim. That way, they don't have a bunch of chumps show up on the floor, and it's a bad showing for everyone, and it's not fun to watch. I think qualifiers are awesome, don't get me wrong. They're definitely needed. I mean, that's what the Open is, is one big qualifier for the games. If we have these CrossFit sanctioned events, and we have to do qualifiers about a month and a half to two months before them, and they take about three weeks, then you're looking at the fact that you're gonna have qualifying events starting right after the Open. And that's just assuming you're going to one CrossFit sanctioned event. If you go to multiples, so let's say you go to one in December, Let's say Dubai is brought on as a CrossFit sanctioned event, which I could totally see it happening. So Dubai is one. Let's also say Wadapalooza is another one. That one's in January, right? 
Now let's say there's another event that's in March sometime, okay? And we'll just call that the Kansas CrossFit competition, and that's in March. We've got one in Dubai in December, one in January, Wadapalooza, and then we've got one in March, the Kansas CrossFit competition. So if Dubai has a qualifier and it's two months before, then you're looking at a qualifier sometime in October. And if you're looking at Wadapalooza in January, they're gonna have a CrossFit, they're gonna have a qualifier for their competition somewhere in November. And then if you're looking at a qualifier for the Kansas CrossFit competition, looking at sometime in January. So you're looking at the fact that starting in October, you have the Open, which hopefully you ramped up for. And then after that, you're going back to back with lots of qualifiers and then sanctioned events in an effort to qualify to the 2020 CrossFit Games. I'm pretty sure you're going to have absolutely no off season. And this is also assuming that you don't even go to the games in 2019. If you go to the games in 2019 and compete in August, you have literally probably a month of downtime before you got to start ramping back up for the open again. Talk about a kick in the face. Oh, congrats. You finished the 2019 CrossFit Games and you did very well. You need to start getting ready for the open. It's going to start in a few weeks. Can you imagine how demoralizing that would be? The 2020 CrossFit season, if what we're reading is correct, is going to be pretty much back-to-back -back qualifiers and competitions from October to June, as much as you want to do. Of course, if you qualify for the first one you go out for, kudos to you. You're done. So if you go out and you qualify for Dubai, let's say in December, you've got an off season all the way from December all the way till August, till the game starts. Of course, you gotta start ramping up before that, but you know what I mean. But if you don't, if you go to Dubai and don't win, and then you go to another competition and don't win, and you keep trying to go on this circuit, ooh, no, it's gonna be rough. This puts a huge advantage to the person who qualifies being the fittest in their country or the person that takes first in the first sanctioned event because their off season is enormous now because we don't have regionals and they can train and fix weaknesses for months and months. But it does not give the person an advantage if they go to multiple sanctioned events and try to qualify and qualify to their third or fourth because they're going to have no off season. They're going to be doing sanctioned events and qualifiers the whole period whereby probably not giving them a whole lot of time to fix weaknesses which is really important in our sport. Maybe what Greg Glasson is trying to do is to make a circuit in an effort to maybe not put so much emphasis on the games. If that's the case, cool. That's fine. But just tell us and then we'll move on. That goose is really loud. Hey! I'm trying to talk here, bro. No manners, absolutely no manners. I would love for CrossFit Games to come out with an actual statement. I mean, it's been like a week and a half now. I'd love to hear what the actual plan is. That way I can go ahead and plan my season. What does it look like? What should I be training right now? Am I in season? Am I out of season? Is there a sanctioned events this year? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if CrossFit Games kind of put out a feeler. They put out this idea of everyone from a country qualifying, the regionals was gone, the sanctioned events. This is kind of like the 75% plan, and there's more info to it, but they're just, they're, they're building it as they go, they're evolving it as they go, and so they're putting out these feelers to see what everyone thinks about it, and then they're trying to change it in ways to make it better. CrossFit Games in the past has proven to be very smart. And if that's what they're doing, that's a really smart move. Because, you know, you'll get everyone's opinions on it, and then maybe you can look at the community and say, okay, well, this idea everyone hated. This idea not everyone hated. And here are some good ideas we heard from the community. These are all my opinions based upon, I don't even know if they're facts. So they're assumptions, I guess. So I could be definitely wrong. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Am I an idiot? Am I crazy? Is there a huge benefit to this that I'm not seeing? I could be wrong. Let me know.